I think the world is just barely realizing where we are in the AI journey. Everyone's obsessing over the AI models. Is Claude better than ChatGPT? Is Gemini 3 going to melt our brains? Meanwhile, in the background, one company just committed to buying so much compute that Microsoft and Nvidia are basically building them a one gigawatt AI playground. And the only thing between that money and reality is cable, power, and the people, just like you, who actually know how to build this stuff. So here's what actually happened. Anthropic, the company behind the Claude models, just made a massive deal with Microsoft and Nvidia. And finally, Nvidia and Anthropic are also establishing a partnership to support Anthropic's future growth. For us, this is all about deepening our commitment to bringing the best infrastructure, model choice, and applications to our customers. And of course, this all builds on the partnership we have with OpenAI, which remains a critical partner for Microsoft and OpenAI and our customers and provides more innovation and choice. With that, Dario, why don't you tell us a little more about the partnership, what this partnership means to Anthropic? Yes, in terms of Microsoft, you know, I think, as you mentioned, Sacha, you know, both of us believe in choice and, you know, we're excited to bring our models as a choice to, uh, uh, to, to, to Microsoft Azure and Anthropic will be the, you know, will be the first model that is available on, you know, the three, all three of the biggest clouds. Um, second, uh, you know, Microsoft has a reputation as a strong um, uh, as a strong enterprise company, and Anthropic does it well. So we have the opportunity to work together, to go to market together, and to provide intelligence to the world together. And you know, we're we're excited to kind of accelerate the diffusion of this technology as the technology continues continues to improve. Um, and finally, you know, we're very excited to get uh, to get additional capacity um, that you know we can use both to train our models to support Microsoft first party products and to sell together. And that brings me to the NVIDIA part of it. Um, we are very excited to, to add, you know, substantial support and substantial use of NVIDIA's accelerators for use by Anthropic. You know, NVIDIA has led the way in this field in many ways has helped make the, you know, this entire AI boom possible. We think this is going to be the beginning, just the beginning of a very long partnership. Um, we are excited to work together to co-optimize models, models together, starting to, with Blackwell and then moving on to Vera Rubin. We're excited to announce up to gigawatt of capacity, and that's just for now. That's just where we're starting. Um, and so, you know, we're, we're very excited to continue that, to continue the co-optimization, to further build out NVIDIA's already incredible ecosystem. NVIDIA's DNA is to build the most advanced computing systems in the world, to accelerate the most challenging workloads in the world on the most important platforms in the world. This is a dream come true for us. You know, we've admired the work of Anthropic and Dario for a long time. And this is the first time we are going to deeply partner with Anthropic to accelerate Claude. I can't wait to go accelerate Claude. Anthropic is going to spend about $30 billion on Microsoft Azure compute over the next few years. Microsoft and NVIDIA are putting up to 15 billion back into Anthropic. And inside that deal is an option for up to one gigawatt of AI data center capacity built on NVIDIA's newest systems. That's not buying some GPUs, that's building an entirely new layer of physical internet so these models actually have somewhere to run and to understand how big this is you have to know what a gigawatt actually means in the real world there are more than 8,000 data centers globally with the highest concentration in the u.s but it's not enough but we suspect that the amount of demand that we'll see from ai specific applications will be as much or more than we've seen historically from cloud computing the ai frenzy has data center demand rising 15 to 20 percent every year through 2030 and as companies like Vantage build more and more, getting enough power is key. Data centers could reach a whopping 16% of total U.S. power consumption by 2030, according to one report, up from just 2.5% before ChatGPT hit the scene in 2022. That's the equivalent of about two-thirds of the total homes in the U.S. Natural gas is expected to fuel the majority of this, and utilities will need to invest some $50 billion to support the growth. Data centers that probably around 64 megawatts for the building itself. Many of those are being taken up by single customers. They'll have the entirety of the space leased to them. And as we think about AI applications, those numbers can grow 
quite significantly beyond that into hundreds of megawatts. A gigawatt isn't a couple of server rooms. It's hundreds of megawatts across multiple sites. It's new campuses. It's brownfield retrofits. It's switchgear, UPS systems, busway, containment, and cooling, and miles and miles of low voltage and fiber infrastructure inside every one of those buildings. And here's the part nobody in Silicon Valley talks about. We already have a labor shortage in data center construction and low voltage and in the trades in general, but multiple reports say owners can't find enough electricity and low voltage technicians to keep projects on schedule. Data centers are literally sitting idle, empty powered up shells because there aren't enough skilled trades on site to finish them. So the bottleneck is shifting from do we have enough GPUs to do we have enough people to actually wire this thing correctly? This is the part of the AI boom that the media keeps missing. Everyone's talking about models, benchmarks, and chips, but none of that actually matters if the physical layer can't keep up. And here's where it gets bigger. The the grid wasn't built for this. Power demand from data centers is exploding and analysts are warning that we could hit multi gigawatt shortages if this pace continues. Some of these AI campuses use as much power as a mid-sized city. That means more backup systems, more monitoring, more fiber, more integration between every subsystem in the building. And the more complex these facilities get, the more critical the low voltage layer becomes. So what does a one gigawatt AI build out mean if you're a low voltage technician, project manager, or you run a small integration company? It means the ceiling on your career just went way up. These are multi-year, multi-billion dollar programs that don't care what the stock market is doing next week. They only care about getting capacity capacity online. If you specialize in data centers, even a little, you instantly become more valuable. Knowing how to handle high density fiber, MPO and MTP, containment, labeling, cross connects and proper testing, that's where the money is heading. Mobility also becomes a superpower. These projects are being built everywhere. Texas, Virginia, the Midwest, Europe, Tennessee, anywhere there's land and power. If you're willing to travel, you can ride this wave for years. And if I were starting over today in this field, Here's exactly what I would do. First, get your fundamentals tight, clean terminations, accurate testing, proper labeling, and the ability to read and follow plans. Second, stack data center specific knowledge, hyperscale standards, containment, high density fiber, and commissioning. Third, document everything, photos, videos, your process. That becomes your portfolio when you want to jump to a bigger project. And fourth, network where the work is actually happening. Not random job boards, but inside the ecosystems where these massive buildings are being stabbed. And yeah, that's actually why we built Low Voltage Nation the way we did. Jobs, projects, companies, vendors, because this isn't a short-term trend. This AI and data center wave is the next decade of opportunity for anyone in this trade. So if you want to get plugged into the real network, not the headlines, check out lowvoltagenation.com. We've got jobs, projects, companies, and a whole community built around this exact moment. The AI boom might be happening in the cloud, but the money is still 100% in the cable.